Prior to approaching improper fractions and mixed numbers, students will need to have mastered two important prerequisite skills. The first is a familiarity with proper fractions, fractions whose value lies between 0 and 1. The second is a solid understanding of multiples, factors, and the basic multiplication and division facts. Students who have a good understanding of these number properties have a conceptual foundation that is essential for renaming, reducing, and comparing fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. So as you plan your lessons on improper fractions and mixed numbers, you may want to include warm-up activities that reinforce these prerequisite skills and also will provide you with ample opportunities for informal assessment. Common fraction models, such as fraction circles or fraction bars, are very powerful tools for representing both improper fractions and mixed numbers and for building student understanding of these concepts. Another tool the virtual fraction bars found at the Macmillan McGraw Hill Math Tool Chest can be used to model both improper fractions and mixed numbers. Students can use the tool to model improper fractions such as 5 fourths, 5/4 and mixed numbers such as 1 and 1/4. As students drag bars onto the mat, they can see the symbolic representation below. Later, students can practice shading in models to represent a wide variety of mixed numbers and improper fractions. Concrete models can also be used to introduce equivalent fractions. Here, students use fraction bars to determine that 5 fourths is equivalent to 1 and 1 fourth. These models also help students convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. You can use the virtual fraction pieces found at the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives to ask students to convert from improper fractions to mixed numbers. Here, students can see that 4 thirds equals one and one-third. As students work with concrete and pictorial models, have them connect these to symbolic representations. Then, as students begin to feel comfortable with the concepts of mixed numbers and improper fractions, introduce them to the procedural algorithms. Show them that 4 thirds equals 3 thirds plus 1 third. Since 3 thirds equals 1, 4 thirds equals 1 and 1 third. Ask students to experiment with other combinations. You can divide students into small groups to try to discover the pattern for themselves. And then ask them to share with the class how they would convert an improper fraction into a mixed number then carefully describe the process to them. You can use this same strategy to show students how to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions. Have students break up fraction circles and count the parts. Then relate this to the process of multiplying the whole number by the denominator and adding that to the numerator. As you conclude your lesson, you may want to discuss with students how they will use mixed numbers and improper fractions, both in mathematics and in the real world. You might want to explain the specific contexts in which they will need to convert from one form to another, whether they are taking a math test, baking a cake, or building a treehouse. This will help them realize the importance of mastering this skill and the relevance of math to their daily lives.